Hello all, I am Padmapani Tribhuvan. In this video, I am going to discuss how the Minimax algorithm works. The Minimax algorithm is used for optimal decisions in AI games. This is an important algorithm of game playing in AI. If you don't know what is game playing in AI, I will suggest you to watch video on game playing. Its link is given in the description box. Now let's start learning Minimax algorithm. In this video, I am going to discuss optimal decisions in games, the Minimax algorithm, space complexity and time complexity of Minimax algorithm, how the Minimax algorithm works, properties of Minimax algorithm, and disadvantage of Minimax algorithm. Optimal decisions in games. In a normal search problem, the optimal solution would be a sequence of actions leading to a goal state or terminal state. In adversarial search problem, we have to use contingent strategy. The contingent strategy specifies max moves in the initial state, then max moves in the states resulting from every possible response by mean and so on. Given a game tree, the optimal strategy can be determined from the minimax value of each node. We write minimax value as minimax of n. The minimax value of a node is the utility for max of being in the corresponding state assuming that both players play optimally from there to the end of the game. The minimax value of a terminal state is just its utility. Given a choice, max prefers to move to the state of maximum value whereas mean prefers to state of the minimum value. Now this is how minimax of s will be calculated. So minimax of s is equals to utility of s if the terminal test of s is true. Minimax of s is equals to max a belongs to action s minimax of result of s a if the player s is equals to max minimax of s is equals to mean a belongs to action s minimax result of s comma a if the player of s is equals to mean this definition of optimal play for max assumes that mean also plays optimally it maximizes the worst case outcome for max now let's see minimax algorithm the Minimax algorithm computes the Minimax decision from the current state. It uses a simple recursive computation of the Minimax values of each successor state directly implementing the defining equation. The recursion proceeds all the way down to the leaves of the tree and then the Minimax values are backed up through the tree as the recursion unwinds. Now let's see space complexity and time complexity of minimax algorithm the minimax algorithm performs a complete depth first exploration of the game tree if the maximum depth of the tree is m and there are b legal moves at each point then an algorithm that generates all the action at once has a space complexity big o of b into m for an algorithm that generates action one at a time, space complexity is big O of M. The time complexity of Minimax algorithm is big O of B raised to M. Now let's see how Minimax algorithm works. Consider there are two players, max player and a mean player. Max makes first move. Max has three possible moves. A1, A2 and A3.
min has nine possible moves b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 d1 d2 and d3 The utilities of the terminal states in these games range from 2 to 14. Max takes a move which maximizes the utility value, whereas min takes a move which minimizes utility value. The game tree shown in the figure is one move deep. That means it consists of two ply. Max one move is one ply and means one move is another ply. So in total two plies equals to one move in the game tree. In this diagram, this triangle represent max node. And this triangle represent mean node. Terminal node represent utility values for max. The minimax algorithm calculates the minimax value for all the nodes. The minimax algorithm follows depth first exploration. So the minimax algorithm first explore all the children of node B in the given game tree. The node with utility value 3 will be explored first and the value 3 will be considered as B's minimax value. Next node with the utility value 12 will be explored. As B is a mean node, B's minimax value will be the minimum of a 3 and a 12. Next node with utility value 8 will be explored. B is minimum node so it will select minimum value from 3 and 8 so B's minimax value will be 3. Now all the children of B are visited so B's final minimax value will be 3. Now all children of C will be explored. Now the node with utility value 2 will be explored first. The value 2 will be given as a C's minimax value. Next node with utility value 4 will be explored. As C is the mean node, C's minimax value will be minimum of 2 and 4. So C's minimax value will be 2. Next node with utility value 6 will be explored. C is minimum node. It will select minimum value from 2 and 6. So C's minimax value will be 2. Now all children of C are visited so C's final minimax value is 2. Now all children of nodes D will be explored. The node with utility value 14 will be explored first and the value 14 will be D's minimax value. The next node with utility value 5 will be explored. As D is mean node D's minimax value will be the minimum of 14 and 5. D's minimax value will be changed and it will be 5. Next node with utility value 2 will be explored. D is mean node so it will select minimum value from 5 and 2. Now all children of D are visited. So final minimax values of node B is 3. Node C is 2 and node D is 2. A is max node so it will select maximum of value 3, 2 and 2. So A's minimax value will be 3. So in this way minimax values for all the nodes of given game tree will be calculated. From all these values we can conclude that max optimal move will be A win which will give maximum chances of winning to max.
properties of minimax algorithm minimax algorithm is complete it will definitely find a solution in the finite search tree if there exists a solution minimax algorithm is optimal if both opponents are playing optimally disadvantage of minimax algorithm it gets slow for games having a huge branching factor that means if a player has lots of choices to decide then the minimax algorithm will be slow this limitation of minimax algorithm can be improved using alpha beta pruning thank you for watching next video will be uploaded soon till then being passionate learner keep on learning